start with uh, intentions, distractions, and uh, also like a, a lot of people listen to podcasts in, in, in the TEC, so also like on top of music, if you have any podcast uh, recommendations, uh, feel free to add them. Uh, I'm going to start. Uh, intentions, we have a bunch of stuff to uh, catch up with. We uh, made a lot of progress in uh, last week. Um, distractions, no distractions. Uh, I'm back uh, home for for this uh, week. So, yeah, pretty uh, like focused on, on, on new stuff. Um, and about uh, music, uh, what have I been listening to this week? Uh, I, I manage a, a band called uh, Necromorpho, and uh, they're releasing an album uh, during this summer. So uh, I've been listening to a lot of that, but uh, it's not really a recommendation yet. But yeah, wh whenever it's out, I'll put it out. Um, and um, yeah, uh, that's it. I'll pass it to uh, Tam. Intentions, just to see how we're doing with comms, how I can help um, where things are. And uh, distractions, none, and music. Um, yeah, I finished the Dan Carlin's King of Kings uh, hardcore history. God, it was so good. It's like it was hard to take my headphones off, but these are like, you know, three, four hours at a time. Um, so I'm back to my regular crypto stuff. There's Pomp, there's NLW, Breakdown, Bankless, these kinds of things. And I've got like two and a half weeks to catch up on. <laughs> Plus the ones that are coming out every day. Uh, and I'll pass to Lauren. Hey. Um, yeah, my intentions to the college is to sync up with everybody. I'm super glad to be here. Um, not distracted. I'm just going to take a bio break in a minute. And music recommendations. Um, I don't know if you guys know DJ Drez, but he does kind of like mantra remixes like cool kind of sometimes pop songs it's pretty fun and there's one like that's like for what it's worth but it has all this like cool chanting in it and like it has like i don't know really cool like middle eastern instruments it's a very cool song and it's one of my favorite like morning wake up like sage the house let's do yoga songs <laughs> and then i'll pass it to manu thanks lauren um yeah intentions see what i can help with um um that's it no distractions week podcast um i like the tim dylan podcast that's a comedy one um he was at the bitcoin miami conference um not work related at all music playlists um just uh oh yeah the the marvin marvin gaze what's going on album the protest, his protest album. I think we need a protest album for this decade, like talking about how crypto, crypto and uh, techno politics and the way that new technology is being used for governance. Um, no one's doing that. Everyone's just talking about money and, and drugs and, 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 and bitches and stuff like that. I think that's hollow, but hey, that's just me. I'll pass it to Juanca. Thanks, Manu. Um, well, my intention is to sync with you guys. Um, I've been listening to a lot of rock in Spanish. I will pe um, paste um, the link of the band in comms. It's called Conociendo Rusia. It's, 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 it's nice. And um, yeah, I've been mostly listening like rock in Spanish. And um, I will pass to Lauren. I went already. Um, do you want to pass sure. it to someone else? Okay. Um, I will pass to Septimus. Oh, I was muted. Uh, thank you, Juan. Uh, my intentions for the call. Yeah, think with you guys. See what's, uh, where can I support. And for the music, I also posted on Jamie for the comments, like the music I'm listening, maybe like last week. So it's awesome. Go check it out. And yeah, no distractions. And I'll pass it to Faher. Hey, uh, can you guys, uh, you guys can hear me? 
All right, wonderful. I'm glad to hear. So my intention is to uh, find something to do in this call. I think that I'll be able to help. I'm pretty decent with uh, social media, Twitter, video stuff, that sort of thing. So I'm here to help. I'm excited to find something to help with. And in terms of what I've been listening to, I started learning guitar recently. And uh, that kind of means that I've just been kind of delving very deep into like, you know, the old classics, just kind of like, classic rock back from like the 70s type of stuff, a lot of Led Zeppelin, that sort of thing, just to kind of, oh, damn, those are awesome guitar riffs. So yeah, that's that's kind of what I've been up to. Oh, and uh, I am going to pass it to Nate Suits. Thanks for hearing. Um, yeah, uh, intentions is to catch up with everything that's going on in comms. Really excited to talk about a lot of these things. Um, distractions i'm feeling a little bit under the weather this week uh but you know it's all right and podcasts um i i'm really i really like everything that's uh a fellow alabamian puts out it's called the um, it could happen here i don't know if anybody's ever heard of that one but uh, it's by robert evans and he kind of just goes into these like kind of theoretical short futures and and delves deep into them, and so it's pretty cool. Um, I will pass it to Acid Laser. Hello, everyone. So, um, I'm going to show today some proposals of the new merch, and that will be great because it's the first organization for everyone, and uh, only for Chewy. Uh, I hope you like it, and I think these days I'm listening a lot of Duki, that he's an Argentinian trapper, and very much because he released a new album, and I think that's it, and I'm going to pass it to, to I don't know, it's left. Let's try Bye uh, Bye B. Bye B. Bye B. Uh, hi, so I've just come here to sync and see what's going on in comms. Uh, help if I can. And music recommendations are Mr. Robot's soundtrack and a mix from Madian called Pop Culture Mix. I really like that. Uh, and I'll pass it to Elena who's left. Uh, Katie. Katie's left. Pick me, pick me. Have you picked me? Am I picked? Yeah, I picked you. <laughs> okay, thanks. Okay, my intentions are to dig into comms and hear what's going on and join in. Um, distractions, I'm, I'm all here. And uh, music, I don't know, did I already mention, I don't think so, The Dirty Three? If not, I am mentioning it now. Check out The Dirty Three in particular. Excuse my French, uh, but there's a great song called Everything's Fucked that you got to check out. And another one called Authentic Celestial Music. And that feels like a great contribution to the TEC, Authentic Celestial Music. Okay, so la, 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 is, 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 let's see. Yeah, everybody's gone. I was the last. Okay, back to you, Chewie. Uh, thank you, thank you, Katie. Uh, thanks everyone uh, for uh, your your recommendations. And uh, since Asset Laser has to leave a little bit early, we're gonna start with him sharing some of the designs for the hatch swag, uh, which is something that we're all very excited about. Since we're gonna be probably hanging out in 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 Paris with with this swag very soon, so. Let's uh, let let's see let's see some of uh, some of your uh, advances. Uh, maybe if you can share your screen with us yes. and uh, yeah, feel free to like add anything uh, for introduction or anything you'd like to come in. And yeah, let's see some of uh, some of the thoughts from the community. Okay, hello everyone. I only have uh, three proposals. And I was thinking something related to streetwear and 
fresh, not just the logo and, you know. So in the first proposal, I have this. It just says tech, tech hatch. Um, but if you look like this, yeah. Okay. Wait. Technical problem. Yeah, I stopped scream, uh, streaming. Uh, maybe, maybe that. Hey, uh, just a quick question. How exactly does like feedback work with this group? Do we kind of present everything and then kind of chime in, or, or is there like a special time, or what, what goes on for feedback? Yeah, usually in 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 this working group, we uh, we come in on on some feedback, but we do a deeper dive on uh, content workshops and. Uh, also, the the hatch campaign hack session. Uh, we have all of this in 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 the in the calendar in the TEC calendar. So uh, yes, Fahren, if, if uh, actually if you have like uh, any uh, feedback, uh, feel free to uh, discuss it here, and then we can we can follow through in any of uh, other of our other uh, like uh, working and, and spaces and workshops for this. Okay, awesome. Thank you. I'm back. And I just want to jump in really quickly too. So when we, we talked about doing the TEC Hatch T-shirt, you only mentioned you mentioned Paris. So I just wanted to clarify one thing: that the idea was that there's going to be a special TEC Hatch shirt. It's a limited edition hat shirt or hat or whatever, um, and only people that participate in the hatch will get the TEC Hatch shirt. And then there's all TEC swags. And all the TEC swag stuff we're giving away free in Paris for the Eats conference. But the TEC Hatch shirts or uh, hatch swag is very specific to only people who participate in the hatch. So if you have that shirt, you're you're a hatcher. That that's the that's the idea. I just want to make sure that's we're all aligned on that. Okay, yes. I, I did not know that we were talking about two separate uh, uh, TC swag. So there's the TC swag that's and the hatch swag. Well, that's the swag. <laughs> Okay, yeah. but there's something. Okay. I mean, we can open it. Let's let's see what what do you think, Chewy? Like, does it make sense to have the TEC hatch be really exclusive to hatchers, and then have a different TEC logo, cool thing for everyone? I do think it's a it's a great incentive for for hatchers. Uh, probably though, uh, uh, this is. I mean, th th this this will probably uh, happen once the hatch closes, right? So. Maybe like regarding like ideas and, and jumping into the, the merch production, uh, probably the T swag then should be a priority. Or how do you feel uh, about that? Tam? I want to send the hatch t shirt when people fund the hatch. So the okay. everything is ready on the background. All we need is the design on a t shirt in the swag shop. And Acid already has access to the swag shop. So if we just choose the design that looks cool, put it on a t-shirt to see what it looks like, um, everything is ready. So it should, okay, we okay. Don't, so, but I guess so what I'm saying is we don't sending... have a long lead time. We don't have a long lead time for the hatch. I mean, I mean, we don't have a long, we don't have a long lead time to set it up. We just need to, to switch it on. I need to have the design ready. Okay. Uh, okay, so then. Like t-shirt manufacturer and such are already ready to go type of thing? Yeah, we're using Printful on the back end, um, which is just huge, and they uh, have uh, fulfillment facilities in multiple continents. And um, we're using DShop, which is a decentralized uh, front end for shops um, for the front end. And the neat thing is that they you can customize a cryptocurrency. So we'll be airdropping a token that's just for the swag shop to people who participate in the hatch. Okay, so uh, the hatch design uh, should be our priority, and after that, the uh, the TEC swag. Correct. Yeah, I okay. mean, yeah. At the at the same time, we can have multiple designers. More pe you know, like more people can can give it a shot if we have more people too. I don't know. It, de it depends on okay. what acid laser feels and how much bandwidth he has. Would it make sense to have it a, a yellow oh, sure. T-shirt? 
with the design on top of that. I have some jello uh, rectangle here representing yeah, but the jello of tech. I, I mean, for the first two, like instead of, I mean, I know like this is like just the design, but would it make sense to have yes, it, on, it on, a, on a yellow t-shirt and then this design on top of that? It could be, it could be jello. That'd be cool. Yes. So, uh, wait, are, are, these, uh, are the three designs here the designs that could be put on the t-shirt? Yes. Yes. Uh, this is, this is the, uh, the idea. I mean, I, I, uh, uh, as, as, uh, I think like, uh, as, as, as you mentioned, uh, but probably like if, it, if it's not like clear for, for everyone, uh, the idea would be to have like something more than just a t-shirt with a, with a logo, right? With like a small logo. So any of these designs can be, uh, uh, can be executed in different ways. Like for example, like the whole like hatch grid, the, the TEC hatch. Uh, that could be like a big uh, design in the back of the t-shirt. The, the, the front of the yeah. t-shirt is a little bit more, uh, it's, it's, it's simpler. Uh, but it is not limited. To, you, you know, like it, it could also be like a front uh, design. But yeah, the idea is to measure the temperature with the community to see how uh, you feel about this. Like I like the, the, the green t-shirt uh, idea. Uh, I guess it's something like... Uh, subject to, to availability on, on every store, but definitely something that we can uh, propose. Uh, and yeah, just like the, just like the common swag, uh, uh, just like the common stack swag, uh, like uh, have like different flavors and, and, and have people the opportunity to pick their own, like uh, their favorite design. So, so yeah, the, the, uh, this is the idea behind the, the, the hatch swag. And just to give a, a little bit of feedback on this, I love two and three. <laughs> That's my only feedback. I, it's really awesome, especially three. I think that if you could, uh, we could use that for website and other logos as well. So really awesome job. Thank you. Man. Hey, we're great. Thank you to that the point about logos. Um, we do have a logo and we do have a sort of design ethic. And I was wondering, Maybe it's, I don't know how we make sure we incorporate the logo because these designs are very far from what we have now, which is, by the way, I think they're all great. And I, I think you're really talented. And this is, these are really cool. Um, and I, I don't, we don't have actually the font or the logo that we're using in it incorporated in any of these designs. And I was wondering, is that an intentional decision or do we, do we want to, you know, have the, our brand identity uh, incorporated in these designs? Well, my instruction was not only using the logo. Be more creative, and I don't know. I present something fresh, kind of streetwear, and it. Uh, I can add the logo, but that was my instruction. I think we can do something like, uh, like combine what Chui and Tam were saying, and for example, like these designs that are super cool. We can have them on the pad. And then on the yes. front, we could have like uh, the logo on yes. somewhere on the on the shirt, and I think we would combine both of them, and I think it would be cool. I think we can we we can uh, arrange also so, maybe um, like a one on one with Marco. A good point. See what input. Uh, go ahead, Nate. Sorry, uh, I was going to say, uh, Tan did bring up a good point about the logos and kind of having this like consistency between, um, you know, things like font and things like design. But, uh, you know, when I was trying to, to compile some, some form of style guide for like the design aspects of, of the TEC, um, I'm not sure if we have any place where we have like the, the type of font and the, the actual source images for these logos. Do we have a location for that? Because uh, I, 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 yes, I, I think. Uh, well, Marco, Marco has some uh, some of his uh, uh, branding guidelines uploaded. Yeah. Yes. Is there a repository containing those assets? In the third one, uh, I'm using the font. Uh, can I also suggest that maybe we can create, like uh, 
an option, a design option that's more uh, that's closer to our current uh, brand identity, and maybe another option that's uh, like what uh, Asset Laser said that um more creative. Okay. Okay. Uh, just I, okay. I, so, so that uh, I'm sorry, Juan. Go go ahead. I, I think I have this weird delay again. Sorry about that. No, sorry that I just shared. Um, a presentation um, where there are the graphics and like it has uh, all the track from where we started and the image where we started and um, also um, the the updates um, that have been done also to the image. Okay, so uh... As as general feedback from from the community, uh, uh, so we we would uh, be involving our actual branding guidelines more and and explore kind of like these two sides, right? Like our current guidelines and some other like creative design that we can implement uh, in in the swag. So uh, would this feedback be correct for both designs? Like, uh, is everybody okay with? Uh, with uh, uh, trying this in, in the, for, for the hatch swag and also for the TEC swag? Yeah, I think that makes sense. Yeah. Um, uh, okay. Just a, a few comments uh, on the designs. Um, they're quite nice. I really like the concept. And I especially like that you kind of like highlighted it uh, as it goes down kind of sideways for all the way on the left but one thing i'm noticing as i'm looking through it is if i were to put a line from one corner of the design to the other corner the letters of tec hatch going for going like sideways they, they wouldn't line up necessarily it's kind of close together i think uh in that and also for the middle design I, one thing that uh I think might be a little confusing is how to read uh, the middle design. I feel like it, it kind of like, because the eye is drawn uh, to kind of like the top left part of the screen, which is just the hatch. And I'm talking about the middle design right now, kind of the clockwork a little bit, rather than being drawn to the start of the phrase tech hatch, which would be at like the bottom. So I, I feel like maybe a bit of kind of like movement in there changing some stuff like the, the concept is great I, I really do like them i think it's just a matter of kind of establishing a bit more consistency across the design maybe maybe not entirely vertical there but you know just a little bit less off center something like that something to think about i'm sure i'm sure you'll be able to figure it out yes thank you okay uh let's uh, let's move on. Let's move on because uh, we we still have uh, so, some topics. Uh, thank you, thank you, uh, Acid Laser, for for sharing uh, these designs. Uh, let's let's keep in in touch for some feedback. I'm sorry, Manu, you have something to say? Yeah. Before we move on, uh, I have an idea that would riff off of what Tam said about having a um, uh, sort of like a. Um, Special edition or limited edition for 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 the hatch. So let me let me share the screen. Uh, okay, so I'm thinking we use uh, maybe like we make cartoons of everyone involved in the hatch, and uh, we just show like the whole community sort of like doing stuff related to the hatch and the crypto sphere, which is, I mean, it it's a uh, it's a crazy and exciting place to be at, and we're very focused on the community. So maybe we could, uh, you know, uh, play on that. Uh, so I don't know how many people are going to be involved, 20, 25, 30. Uh, I can have an animator do design that sort of looks like the ones I'm showing on the screen, and that could be for the limited edition one. Um, Anyway, that's. Um... I actually think it might work better for the. Uh, I mean, if we, if we're gonna uh, have some characters, I do think it might be a better idea for the TC uh, for the TC swag, since the TC swag is 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 more uh, 
like tied to like names and builders and people like around the the cultural build uh because of because the tc hatch like i don't know if if people would be like uh comfortable with that and also like if yeah. like if, i mean if if we reach the uh if we reach like the i mean our maximum goal which is like 14 million uh i don't know like i really really like am clueless uh when it comes to like an idea of how many people are going to be behind that so i think it uh, i i i like this idea of of developing characters uh i would just maybe like think about it more for the for the tc swag rather than the than the hatch uh, okay uh Thanks, everyone. We need to uh, move on so we can uh, cover all of our topics in the agenda. But thank you very much, uh, Acid Laser. We'll uh, definitely be uh, following through with this. And uh, anybody that likes to uh, jump in with like suggestions or ideas, please feel free to come to any of our uh, spaces for, for, for creative uh, feedback and, and discussions. Um, OK, uh, so our next topic is our, our Who video. Uh, we regularly stream this, uh, however, like, like I, I uh, understand that it, uh, yeah, it, like, it, it's not what we want because we want to watch the final version, okay, right? <laughs> so uh, I'm going to give a total of two and a half minutes for everyone to watch it. I just posted in the comms channel, and mm -hmm. I'll see you back in a second here. Enjoy. Why aren't we streaming it here? It's just that it's just sometimes it lags or or you know it, it it like it might not be the best experience for our final version. So yeah, just just thinking about that. Dobar dan, zdravo, zovem se Marko. Ako si Ivy at ako pa yung nakatira sa Pilipinas. I grew up in upstate New York. Hi, I'm Lauren. I am from Canada and I live in Costa Rica. Bonjour, je suis Suga, naturalisée en France. Uh, I am South African, uh, currently residing in Cape Town. The TC is advancing token engineering. It's trying to make it so that we can have many people understand why we need uh, token engineering. The TEC is a proof of concept. There's a stack of ideas and technologies that have been pioneered by the common stack for creating all the right incentive alignments to produce organizations that can pr protect and sustain public goods. Applying a commons in token engineering because we believe that the research, education, tools, and software in this field are resources that have to be made freely available to everyone in order to benefit everyone. It's neither the, the funds, and neither the funders, neither the community, neither the resource that we are commoning, but the dynamic interaction of all those is the commons. It's a, a group throughout the world uh, from different areas, international. The community is so vibrant. It's, it's the best part. I love it. It's... I love the people. Um, I, I think um, I learned so much from everyone. We are like a, a family, kind of, and we are split in, uh, having different working groups. Yeah, for me, the more important part is the um, uh, the cultural build. It's very uh, egalitarian, and, and we need more engineering people to be focused on this this uh, high-minded hey, cultural think thinking. We embrace part. each other, so uh, the way we distribute our impact tower. Finish. And yeah, feel free to. Uh, Throw some feedback as soon as you're ready. Damn, what a debut. Uh, um, one of the things, uh, I think the audio mixing needs some work. It can get a little loud at some points compared to the voices in the background. The editing looks great. That's looking really so good. Like there are so many more. Go ahead, Dan. Yeah, I really like there are so many more people. So, um, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you go, you go. Okay. 
I was just saying, I like that there's so many, you included, we've included so many more people. It's really cool. I, I have a question. At what point say, of onboarding are people going to see this video? Uh, I'm sorry, for her, uh, uh What was that? Like, I, I didn't understand oh, the question. My bad. Like, like, um, okay, say, for example, when, when I would imagine a new user would want to come and join the tech commons and they would want to take a look at this video. This is one of the videos that they'd watch as they were kind of exploring through what the tech is and where it's about. At what point will they have seen this video? Will they have seen other videos before this video? Uh, like, uh, what part of the onboarding does this speak to necessarily? I personally think that this, like, uh, is it has a great, great purpose in like the first steps of of onboarding. Uh, I would use this as a feature video in our YouTube channel, uh, probably as good supporting material in our uh, landing page. Um, we're actually uh, uh, coming up with another uh, with another video that is more uh, uh, the, the animated video for the hatch. Uh, but meanwhile, like wh while we have that ready, the the intention is to include this in the dressing rehearsal. Uh, so if you also go to the hatch uh, landing page, you're gonna see there uh, uh, this this video there. So in a way, like every time we need to like explain cultural build. Uh, Maybe not not like so like in like too deep into technical stuff, but uh, if the purpose is to define the cultural video, I think that uh, the, the cultural build. I think that this video uh, pretty much gets the uh, uh, like a lot of that job done. Like uh, it was it was discussed during some of the uh, feedbacks while we were uh, uh, editing this video about like how uh, like this is something that we don't really have. Uh, so far, like pretty much everything that we have for defining the TEC is is more technical, and and this is what we really really like about this video. So yeah, the purpose would be uh, to to have this uh, uh, to have this video like be in 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 well pretty much everywhere that needs to uh, explain uh, our community and cultural build. I'm a big fan. Whoever did the editing did a killer job on it. Uh, yeah, Manu. Manu was uh, like the lead producer for this. So, praise, praise to Manu. Praise to Manu. Yeah, it's looking so good. I, I really like it. I like the music. I think it's a lot more balanced. I love the addition of all the extra new people. It just has a good flow, and I'm so glad that Jess is blurred out in Zefty's video. I'm like, oh yeah, it's so much better. <laughs> um, and I was just wondering. The only thing that felt weird to me is like Tam's title is the steward of the community stewards. And I think like, I don't know, having steward written twice in her title feels confusing to me. So I wonder if we can, if Tam, we can, if you have another name. Yeah, um, well, we could just do the camera. I think oh, it's, but... um, so if I'm looking at the other ones, gravity steward, community steward. Yeah, it's a, maybe it's steward, steward. Yeah, it's a, it's an interesting question. Maybe some master steward. <laughs> master <laughs> steward is cool. <laughs> what about community grand steward? Grand master steward. Wait, Zephy, did you have steward, an idea? Steward? Yeah. I'm sorry, Zephy, uh What was that idea? No, oh, community steward lead, something like that. Yeah, I think that's nice. That's what I would have thought too. If we just said like community steward, community steward lead is cool. Lead community steward. Okay. But don't we ch aren't isn't part of the language of the TEC the whole point of saying steward is to avoid saying lead, actually. But it's like, like there's no leader, you know. That's yeah. That's why not something really like important. steward coordinator. What about um, stewards? Steward. I mean, I know it's double, but it is like the work. It's the working group. What did you say? And Tim? then steward. So stewards, steward. Or what did you say? Oh, I was just saying, so it's the work. Sorry, Katie. I, yeah, can you sorry. hear me okay? Repeat. Can everyone hear me okay? I'm sorry, I think I we're all you, like Tim. delayed in different times. Like it... Oh, <laughs> it's an awkward call. Yes, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I would go with the same. I would I would follow the same pattern we used for everybody else. Otherwise, it would be an aberration. That's like an awkward aberration. So I see that we've shortened gravity labs, all of these things, um, transparency. So we're not using the working group. So I would say stewards, yeah. steward. So the first one would be plural. The second one would be singular. And that would at least match everybody else's. That's, but I'm open. I'm, I'd love to hear what everyone oh. else thinks. I love your decision. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Manu. You send me the... The because I was confused with the with the S apostrophe S. Could you just type it so I don't have to look it up on Google? Like, is it Stewart's apostrophe S or is it just the apostrophe? Uh, <clears throat> so I don't make a, a typo. normally you don't need an apostrophe in this case, and that's because yeah, I can explain case, why if you want. Stewart, Stewart. Uh, no apostrophe. Uh, yeah. I think I'm thinking of another thing that I think might benefit from this video is um, like when I watch it right from the start, I, I feel like it fails to set up expectations very well. And what, what I mean by that is it jumps right in it. it it's got to say something like um, at the start, like this is the community that you're going to be participating in when you work with the token engineering commons. And that way that then the, the user who watches that video will be like, oh, these are the people who I get to be, be part of when I join and I grow with this thing. And then at the end, it's more of an official call to action. I saw there was a little one there, but maybe just kind of putting that a bit more in the, the forefront might, might make a user a bit more, I suppose, understanding, because it just jumps right into the people, which is great. Uh, just maybe half a second introduction to, before that. One person at the Thank beginning, this is the TEC, uh, join us, something like that. I was thinking more of like a, a little graphic, kind of like the other kind of graphics that you use over the course of the video. It was just something like, this is who you're a part of. If you, I, I can't find a good sentence to it. Whatever I think of is too long, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, just a, a little something to set expectations, I suppose. OK, uh, anybody else has some uh, feedback in the uh, community video? Anyone? Katie, I think you had something to say. Oh. Go ahead, it, yes. I don't know if, because Lauren, you already addressed this, but I thought the blurring of Jess was a little weird. <laughs> like, you can't actually remove it, because the blurred aspect made you think, like, oh, is that a child, and you have to, like, eliminate their face? Like, or is that somebody who didn't agree to have their face in the video, but we couldn't get rid of the video? I don't know. Can you not get it out of there somehow? You put the, mm -hmm. that graphic slides in. Can maybe you slide in the graphic immediately and then you never see the blurry bit i don't know this is a, a little bit more of a of a technical explanation actually because the the source of the of of the calls as, as you know it's uh, uh video calls so every time anybody records like a video for the sake of uh like uh uh space efficiency uh like uh like free, free space uh these are like in, in, in very uh, like specific codecs, so they get a lot of compression. And actually, like I, I really like the blurred uh, solution because I did know that Septi's video was in a little bit like a lower resolution. So if we kind of like upscale that part of the video on, on, on the whole canvas, uh, we were gonna get like more, uh, you know, like, like a pixel, uh, like pixelation and, and stuff like that in the, in the image. So that's something that I was afraid. And I actually, like, I, I personally like the solution of the blurriness because if you know that Jess used to be there, like, I know it bothers you, but trust me, like, if you have never seen the video before, uh, it's like a perfect solution because it, it really, like, uh, doesn't distract you and kind of, like, makes that section of, of the frame blend in with the rest of it. I know, like, it's it's a little bit bothering, but I personally find it uh, better and, and less distracting than just having, like, a bunch of, of, of low-resolution, like, pixels in, in, in the screen. Uh, so, uh, that, actually, like, I, 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 I personally, like, went ahead with that, with that solution uh, with Manu. But, yeah, let's, let's, let's give it a try. Like, if we show it around to some people, it's like, I get distracted by that, like, uh, ghost in the corner. Uh, we can we can uh, try to like make some stuff, you know, maybe like upscale it, not as much as as uh, it's intended to be, but yeah, let's 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 think of, of some solutions. 
Um, anybody else have uh, has some some input about the video? Yeah, I, I have uh, one other thing. This might be slightly nitpicky, but I, I I'm also like a video creator as well, so I, I I've done this decent bit of times. And this isn't to say that I'm necessarily right about this, but one thing I'm noticing is that um, the the uh, basically the video slides a little bit to the right when, say, for example, the transition of the graphic for Griff slides in, and I feel like a, as a viewer, it's a little confusing for me having to move my eye when the video of Griff slides to the right and the graphic slides in, it kind of like changes it a little bit in. So maybe instead of having two things sliding at once, just having the graphic sliding in might be a bit kind of easier and more consistent for the eye to follow. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, save like all of these like more technical notes, Manu, and we can, we can discuss it, them uh, after the call. Uh, very sorry, but uh, I'm going to have to move on so we can cover uh, uh, all of our topics. So uh, yeah, like, please, please, uh, like this video, like a lot of you know, like how long we we have been uh, working in this project. So uh, feedback is something like uh, uh, very very uh, relevant for 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 this to be successful in 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 just uh, uh, you know communicating this this cultural identity. So uh, thanks thanks for all the feedback. Uh, we really uh, appreciate it. And yeah, like I, uh, I I'm personally loving this more. Uh, like horizontal way of of creatively uh, work and collaborate with with people because yeah usually in video production maybe you for her that that has uh, more experience in that and also Manu like uh, we're we're very used to like a more like vertical structures uh, around these this kind of uh, feedbacks and decisions so thanks for everyone for your patience oh and just as a, uh, like a quick shout out the the animation in the ending the whole join us thing uh, acid laser did that so yeah hopefully he's gonna get like more uh, involved in these uh, kind of details and for her like there you go like you, you there there's like there are like these a lot of like small like spaces where uh, we need like unexpected uh, contribution, especially with like animation. So yeah, we'll definitely be in in, in touch around more uh, content production. Uh, moving on, internal comms. We are gonna propose a new way of having access to our platforms because it's such a mess. And every every time we need to tweet something or do anything, like we need to like bother people from the community, and this should just have a, like a better, better way. And uh, uh, we're, uh, we've are we been coming up with this uh, new uh, method, which is Jam. Uh, so if, if uh, the, the idea would be to uh, all of the access uh, to platforms is going to be handled through Jam. This way we don't actually like share credentials. We just have like a more established like funneled way of, of reaching uh, transparency and transparency can give us access for whatever purposes we have. Uh, um, we're still working on like the method, but uh, the, one of the last things that I uh, uh, proposed to uh, Ivy and Septi would be to uh, like fill a Google form. This way we have like some backup of, of evidence of, of people who are requesting access to different platforms and the reason why we, why they want to do it. And Jam is going to help us uh, just simplify this whole thing. So um, uh, I I don't know, like Septi, would would you say to maybe like go ahead and, and invite uh, people to download and, and set up their, their jams? Or uh, what are your thoughts on, on this new process uh, yeah. we're going to be working in? I, I think this, uh, this is awesome. And I, I'm also already working on, on a forum post uh, that should be up like before the Thursday call and the idea with this forum post is we start as a community discussing on this process uh, but I mean it's a little bit like we were doing yesterday on the transparency call but uh, more like uh, broad with uh, yeah with more engagement from the community and yeah so people can comment and it should be posted if not tomorrow like Thursday morning CT for sure it's going to be posted and yeah, like the idea with this is like just have uh, the community engage on how to approach it because this is a, a cultural thing. And yeah, I think we have to, it's going to go through advice process, but if we need to do a vote, we will do it. And yeah, the idea is just to have, uh, just to see what the community feels. Yay. 
Yeah, Craig. Craig has been one of the <laughs> like the, the the one that we've been bothering the most. So uh, <laughs> no, no. Yeah, hopefully this is gonna be uh, fixed in the in in the near future. Uh, and yeah, and 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 just just uh, work this way. We are also planning on maybe like resetting all of the credentials so we can start from scratch regarding like uh, uh, access and and all of this. So. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, it's it's gonna be like, uh, you know, in in I know some of you like uh, are are from countries where they do the pavement in the streets really well, but sometimes uh, in Mexico we have to do it a second or three times or, or a third time. But it's worth it. Like uh, when 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 in the end it's just like a safer road for everyone. So I think we're gonna go through a similar process with um, with uh, access to platforms. Uh, so okay, true. and. Uh, Yes, Nate, go ahead. I was going to ask, uh, what we was the justification it. for uh, Jam itself uh, in, in, as, a, as a specific platform that you chose? Uh, like, like what, what makes this uh, so much better than other options? Uh, actually, like, who did the research was Chris John from the Commerce might be Stars. better for answering. Uh, yeah, he did the research, and he that's the app they are using on Common Stack, and we're just copying what they're doing because they already did the research, and this is a free app. And actually, like, uh, actually, it's going also to be on the common uh, on the post tomorrow, and Jam is going to be something provisional until like some apps more decentralized, like New Cipher, uh, are on the market. And yeah, it's just a, an intermediate thing until these decentralized apps uh, come to the like, to the DAO, so we can use them. I just one quick comment. Um, and first, a thank you to Chewy and Zepti, whoever else has worked on this. And I don't, I don't have any experience with what is the, you know, the safest or most appropriate way to do it. I'm just excited that it's being done because, um, like Chewy said, uh, <laughs> as someone who's been around kind of since the beginning, I've, I, I get pinged a lot with random requests about accounts that I might have even forgot that I had admin privileges too. So it's always been a concern of mine that we have been a little willy nilly, but it's like Chewy said, we, we did what we had to do. And I, I just, uh, I'm looking forward to a more streamlined access protocol. So whatever it is, uh, it's great. Thank you. I'm going to, I want to add to that too, actually. So I want to also say it's really amazing work. Because frankly, you know, right now, before the hatch, we're pretty much off people's radar. But when we have a treasure full of, you know, XDAI, I feel like we end up becoming more of a target. And knowing that our account management is, is locked up very tightly it will allow lots of us to sleep better at night. So really, really important and excellently timed. Yes, I agree. Uh, actually, uh... Well, in, in my, uh, some of my past experience in, in OneHive, there was this time back in November, I think, where uh, our Telegram group was hijacked. It was the worst thing ever. It was a nightmare. And uh, uh, we tried to like, get it back, but yeah, it was just like one of those like, stories, like part of, of, of OneHive. And in the end, the only solution was pretty much getting the community together and starting a new uh, Telegram group uh, from scratch, which is the one that uh, uh, OneHive actually uses. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, like, yeah, like, uh, I know, like, we're, we're not, like, anywhere near uh, such a tragedy, but still, like, things, uh, like, are, are, are bad when this is, like, not really uh, organized. So, yeah, I'm very, very excited for this. And also, I'm excited that uh, it's it's also like a, a collaboration between, uh, I think, stewards and transparency and comms working groups. Uh, so uh, yeah, we're hopefully getting there because uh, yeah, it's something that, as as Tam says, like uh, might be something that can uh, take our uh, sleep uh, in during uh, during nights. Um, Okay, well, moving on, uh, we're going to be implementing a Twitter strategy that uh, Escanor is going to be uh, executing. As you know, uh, this is our uh, content planning uh, document. And uh, we are uh, thinking about starting uh, targeting uh, like specific profiles, people that are involved in communities where there's uh, token engineering, 
uh, token engineers themselves. Um, this is similar to the list that the Hatch uh, Outreach uh, Working Group has. Uh, the only thing is that this is more focused in, in engaging with, the, with them in, in social media. Like, if someone retweets, if someone replies or whatever, like having specific ways of, of, of following through with that. Uh, uh, not only gain their their follows, but also their constant interaction with uh, with our Twitter and the information we're posting. So, yeah, this is something that really, really like excites me because uh, uh, we've been trying to get a hold of like a decent st Twitter strategy for some months now, and I feel that this is like a very, very like factible uh, beginning. So, uh, so yeah, we're diving deep into communities and trying to get uh, like uh, like specific uh, profiles. And and yeah, like get, get us get us out there, get us out there, and and make people uh, come closer to to the community. The Twitter is gonna be a great great tool for this, and I'm very happy to have Escanore uh, as 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 uh, our lead uh, team member for for this uh, for this Twitter strategy. Um, and okay, so our last uh, topic in the agenda to uh, for which uh, we have uh, six minutes. Uh, is uh, part of this engagement strategy in Twitter is also like we want to make questions. Uh, we want to start uh, making questions as a, like a call to action or engagement strategy with our followers. So uh, first of all, uh, we wanted to ask like uh, as a general community temperature feel, uh, what what do you think could be like these questions? Uh, how technical do we want to get? Like uh, what do you think is like... Uh, key for this like I, I i personally feel that we could uh we could go uh also towards the the like the community uh the community identity um but i i wanted to openly ask uh the community what do you think these questions uh, should be what do you think could work and uh also like as as most of you already follow the tec twitter so if you see like any question that you feel that uh you can uh answer this engagement is going to help us a lot uh not only for reaching out to people but also our twitter strategy like if twitter sees that we're having engagement with with uh people uh we kind of like have that that part of the algorithm uh, on, on our side to uh, have a, like an additional uh, spreading of this information. So, uh, what are your thoughts? Uh, what are some of the questions that we can start asking on 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 Twitter? This is, by the way, uh, led by by Ivy. It's 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 an idea that Ivy uh, came up with. So, Ivy, if you want to add up uh, add anything uh, on on top of this, please uh, please do so. Um, actually, I just wanted to add that uh, yesterday in our Twitter sync, uh, Meta Verde joined. And she gave a very good feedback, like something we have to think about because she said that like when she joins the Discord, it's like feels like work for her. So she said she suggested like maybe we should start um um like uh having some fun events or learning uh, opportunities or learning events in Discord so people will uh, actually join our Discord server. So maybe it's one of the strategies because she asked or she asked us about uh, the uh, the goal for Twitter. So I told uh, one of our goals is uh, to in increase engagement and also to invite people to join a uh, Discord. So yeah, so for people to join Discord, maybe uh, we should promote more fun or learning events rather than it makes uh, the person feel like joining the TEC Discord is like. Uh, or something like work. So that's one of the uh, suggestions that she had. Okay, I, I think parties are a great excuse for this. We actually try that like we're back with uh, when we have the Paramus parties uh, and that worked really, really well. So yes, I, I, I agree. We can probably use parties as an engagement tool for our Discord server. Uh, anybody else has some uh, input on this? Uh, what about Twitter polls? Just kind of like surveying the community. What do they want? What do they like? That sort of thing. I'm sure that we could find some specific Twitter poll topics that like only the tech community would be able to really weigh in on as well.
Okay. Um, a, a, any ideas about these uh, uh, polls? Uh, anyone like, uh, should we like ask about the hatch? Should we ask about basics of token engineering? Uh, just uh, like anything that comes uh, to the top of your mind and, and we can uh, take into account for this uh, content. I mean, uh, one of the things we could do, we could use it as kind of research. It's just like uh, survey the community. How much do they even know about the tech, you know? So I'm sure there's tons of people who are like following on Twitter who have some idea of what's going on, but maybe not that much. And it'd, it'd be a cool way to learn more about how much the Twitter community kind of translates over to our community. Okay. Yes, I agree. We uh, actually tried this in like a forum post for one hive and yeah, like we were pretty like alarmed to see that people don't really know what token engineering is. Uh, back back when we made the, when we made the param party, uh, I think that uh, people had a lot of curiosity. So uh, yes, this is it is precisely the idea. Like through questions and and through polls or or these uh, exercises, um, kind of like engage with people's uh, curiosity and and yeah, and uh, have them more engaged with uh, our Twitter. Uh, okay, uh, so if anybody else has some uh, input, we're almost at the top of the hour. Uh, let's uh, use this last minute. And if not, I guess that's it. Okay, go ahead, Tom, because uh, yeah, I think you, you had the countdown delay. I was going to say hi. I was just going to say bye okay. and thank you.